Big Earn here, here in Laredo, Baja, Mexico. Uh, I was looking for some information on the internet and wasn't able to find it, so I'll put up this little video, cover that information I was looking for. Basically, you know, uh, this hotel, what it looked like, and, uh, and how to get a fishing boat out in town. So here goes a couple minutes of some information, and I hope you like it. Then if you guys are wondering, this is where you get the boats at, right here. You come up in front here, and you start hacking with the guys, and they'll be all out there in the morning. This is right in front of the marina. Uh, I, it's about $150 to go to uh, the island of Coronado. Hey fans! <laughs> About 250 to go fishing for Dorado out here in the Laredo Bay. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. We got there fishing there. frenzy going down. So you can see they got construction going on. Bear with me. You see all the boats they got? It's, it's pretty much all panga. So it's panga fishing here in Laredo. About 250 to go fishing for the day, about four to six hours. Um, come on out here and you go in front here. They'll be all be out there in the morning. You just go out there and uh, start uh, working a deal with these guys. Um, so 250 to go fishing, and then you would need a uh, fishing license, which is the a little room on that on the back side of here. And then you get with that guy. It's like $12 a day, so you have to pay that. Uh, when you get on the boat, there'll be a little bait thing going on right there, and that's twenty dollars for the bait. So, two fifty plus twelve, and twenty dollars for bait. And then you'll be fishing. They have all the the poles and stuff that you need on there. Um, it's all decent stuff. Same thing you'd be using it in LA when you go and like fish it over there. So there's the hotel mission. Here's the walkway, the main drag, and then uh, there's the Laredo sign, and then there's the marina, and then that's where you go over there to get a boat. You just uh, go there in the morning, like 6 a.m., and then uh, you start haggling with those guys. Uh, once you catch a fish, you can bring it back. You can take it to a restaurant, that's what we did. We took it to a restaurant, had them cook it up, had a good time eating it. Today, this is our third one, our third fishing trip out here. But uh, we we just uh, we just threw them back. We caught them, caught and released. It was fun. Uh, during August, we're here. I'm here August, uh, the first part of August, 2022. And uh, the big ones ain't here. I guess this ain't the season. The season's probably you know October, November time frame. All the years I've been fishing Baja, that's pretty much the the good time to come down here is the August, uh, I mean the October, November, December time frame. That's when you'll get those 60 pound Dorados out here. Uh, early this morning, this is all flat like the lake, but the tide's coming in. It's about 3 p.m. right now. Uh, we fished, 
you know, south of the city. It's a giant bay. It's an island there. There's Coronado Island. And we fished multiple spots today. We fished south, we fished over there, and then we fished in the middle, and then we worked our way back that way. The whole time, just, you know, mix of uh, kelp patties, you know, fly lining kelp patties and uh, 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 trolling life bait, as well as a tuna popper once in a while. Uh, we, were, we were nailing them, they're just all smalls, you know. Uh, pretty much spread around 15, 20 pounds. So, uh, good Dorado fishing out here. It's really fun. We were using the spinner, the spinner reels as well as the, the conventional reels, but you know, just having a good time. The kids loved it. They're out here the other day, and man, that's perfect for the kids. They were, they were, they're out of school and took them fishing, and man, they were fishing frenzy all day long. They had a great time. Thank you. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, so you got to bring your own lunch as well. So either the day before, the night before, you make yourself a lunch, or you got people like these guys. They they they'll provide you with something in the morning, and you get um you can buy it from them, and uh, you can take it with you on the boat to eat. Uh, when you go to Coronado Island, the same thing with the pangos. You bring your own lunch. Uh, with my family, I had like a bunch of food, sandwiches, and stuff like that. They'll uh they provide shade. They have a a, uh, what's that called? An easy up and four chairs. So you're not there, you know, baking in the sun if you don't want to. But of course, all of us, we were out there in the water the whole day, four to six hours. So beautiful place, highly recommend it. You can also go to some of these restaurants. There's a cafe right down by the mission. Uh, you know, they're open early, so you can go there and get a couple burritos if you want. And then uh, you can take those for lunch as well. This is one of the cafes that I was talking about. It's like a little line of them right here. They'll make you lunch in the morning. We're over here afterwards. And uh, we're gonna just have a little lunch before we head back to the hotel. It's about like, I don't know, half a mile from the beach. Oh, all right. Uh, that's the bank. You need ATM. It's right there. The old mission is uh, you hang a left, and that's the the main old drag there that you can walk through. It's a nice for family to walk in. Okay. It's a good restaurant right there, Mi Laredo. Got the main pool, elite member pool with the black um, towels there. They're only allowed in that one. Uh, that one, I think that pool over there is uh, adults only. Um, the main pool right there, it's uh, kind of shallow, waist deep. It, it gets real hot. Um, that's where it's happening at down there. That's where the volleyball pool is. That pool is actually very cool. So everybody enjoys that a little bit better. You can see them out there having a good time. You have a kiddie pool back right behind there, right behind the um, main pool. You can see a little, little sprinklers down there. The kids running around, so it's really nice. It's a really nice setup here. Very nice hotel. They got a stage over there at night. They have a guy uh, or a girl playing music and stuff. It's really nice. They throw shows here at night, plays. They have beach parties out there. It's, it's, it's a very nice hotel, very beautiful. 
And you can see the bay. And way back there, that's Loretto Bay. It's about, I don't know, like 17 miles, I think. Very nice place. Here's our balcony. There's our main room here. My, my kid's room. Got a full restroom there. Kitchen. And then the master. It's a nice setup. Very happy. Down here at the beach at Via del Palmar. It's a nice beach right here. There's no waves. Um, there's a little bit of rocks right here on this side, but on that side, there's nothing. I mean, you could walk all the way out to where my kids are, way back there, and it's still only like waist deep. Uh, as far as fishing wise, I was out here the other day throwing my rod in. Uh, I fished right here, and then I fished a little bit more over here, and then I went up against the rocks. I didn't catch any fish right here, but against the rocks, I caught these, you know, I don't know, these little pinner fish. Uh, I was throwing jigs out. Um, it wasn't that great, but there's a lot of life in the water. Um, there's a lot of stingrays in there, little baby stingrays, a lot of bait fish. Um, there's a lot of a lot of other little small fish out in you know on the bottom there. But you can see straight down. You got polarized glasses. Um, I went out there on the paddle board and just check it out before I went fishing. And there's a lot of life in this water out here. Um, I fished all the way up to the corner over there. Um, if you get on that corner and throw a jig, it has to be pretty far out and then bring it back, you got a chance at some, you know, decent sized fish there. There's some, I don't know what they are, some sort of like barracuda type fish going on over there that I keep seeing. Um, I didn't catch one. I didn't give it that much effort, but by the time I got over there, I was already tired. So then I had to come all the way back, ate some lunch and, and that was it. And I was already out in the pangas the next day. But um, it's a good spot to have some good fun out here. Bring your, I would say, bring your um, freshwater uh, bait caster out here, and it'd probably be pretty good. I didn't fish this side. You can see they got some pretty nice area here. This is a good relaxation spot. I'm here early in the morning. Got a little light rain last night. Right now it's about a good 80 degrees, and it's just beautiful. So ain't no fishing going on today. I'm just gonna relax. It's beautiful out here. So right here, they got good tacos. Kids love it here. You can see them out there in the paddle boards. They also got kayaks too. So you wanna go fish the kayaks, uh, same place. Well, they have that. You can see it, there's the taco guy right here. And then over there, that's where the kayaks are and the and paddle boards. But yeah, if you get a kayak and you go out to that point right there, I wouldn't doubt if you do pretty good. Yeah. 
there. You can see this. You can see this other people over there. They got the kayaks. My kids in the paddle boards. And this point. be able to fish off those rocks you see the turquoise benches kind of similar to the one that i'm sitting in right here turquoise benches are up there but to get a panga if you don't have a car it costs you like 50 dollars for a taxi ride one way to the town the road connects you to highway one and then you take the road against that mountain over there fans <laughs> Fishing frenzy going down. I'm not taking this fish home, so if it gets off, I don't, you know, it's not gonna hurt so bad. Unless it's really good. Yeah, I get moving. Okay, espérate un momento, señor. Tengo uno. Es que tengo uno. Uno grande. Una grande. Es una tía. Gracias. 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 Let's see, let's see, let's take photo, photo. Photo, photo. All right, all right, we got fish on. We got fishing frenzy going on right here in the panga. On the panga. Only the brass, bring them in. We got boils out here. Fish crashing everywhere. That's right, that's right. The pepper still can't bring them in. And you brought the best of the best. Bring them in. We got Caesar on one. 
ってるけどもいた This panga fishing at its best right here. We got panga here. Uh, cost us $250 USD, August 2022. Uh, he motors us, us around. It's Coronado Island out there. We were over there the other day. Uh, oh, yeah. Fishing frenzy going on right here. We found them. We found them. <laughs> we were fishing uh what is that uh south south of the coronado island right there and that's coronado island with the white beaches we were fishing south inside the bay we caught a couple small ones and we motored out here uh we just got here threw out some live bait we hit some patties along the way did some live uh some live bait on the patties. Uh, we weren't getting much, but we got here. And we got fishing frenzy going on right now. <laughs> we, got, we got another hook up. We got three on right now. Grab it, Ernie. You got it? See, you still fighting that thing, Scissor? <laughs> so we pay a guy 20 bucks with a little fish net over there at the, the bay. He, he, he'll throw in some uh, he throw in his fish net and uh, he'll bring us out bait. You pay him 20 bucks. It's about 12 bucks for each fishing license. Bonita. <laughs> <laughs> 